You know, over the past week, I've noticed in my neighborhood a few different moving companies. And a lot of people are selling or moving into homes. And of course, they need a reputable mover. My question to you is, very simple, what sets your company apart from the other moving companies that are out there? Because there are a ton of them. There's, there's a ton. Uh, in Rhode Island, there's 44 licensed moving companies in Rhode wow. Island. Overall, compared to the amount of real estate agents, closing attorneys, uh, the list goes on and on. Overall, not that many um, when you look at the volume of other things. Um, what sets us apart is truly the customer service level, the respect, and I'm a fourth generation mover. So I have been doing this my entire life. So I have seen the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to moving. We always look for uh, educated athletes um, that are high school, college level athletes that want to have a physical job, um, do very good with customer service. I would rather train somebody to have moving experience than hire a mover with 10 years of experience that we cannot get the customer service level that we want and that we're looking for. Also, just our flexibility. Um, we have heard horror stories of moving companies that have canceled on people last minute because a big one of their big clients calls and they drop everybody for it. For us, we have a group of over 20 individuals that go out on a daily basis to handle residential, commercial, industrial, and furniture moving on a regular basis. And our biggest thing is after you book with us, with GMET's moving, when you book with us, you get us the whole way through. So if, if you have a closing on the 20th and you call on the 19th and say, my closing fell through, something happened, we cannot close until the 28th, we do everything in our power to make sure you move on the 28th. We have nice. never left a customer high and dry. Most of the time we're going in our emergency vehicle to, to help out somebody that, that got canceled by another moving company. Got somebody who is selling their home, getting ready to move into another one. The closing on, happens on the house they sold, but the one they're going to move into and buy has been delayed. So now there's a gap. Correct. What happens to that furniture and the materials that you have to move on? Oh, you're killing me. A tough question. Now, that's unfortunately, that's something that we're dealing with on a regular basis now. Um, it's it's uh, two or three years ago, it wasn't the normal. Um, now, that's the normal. You have a closing on Monday for the home that you're in. You can't close until Tuesday or Wednesday on the home you're buying. Um, so we have multiple options. We can either do some on-site storage where we bring a storage container out there. We load everything on-site. It comes back to our facility. We deliver the storage container when it's ready. Um, there's also ways where we can leave it on the vehicle overnight. Uh, it goes back to our warehouse. It's behind a gated uh, facility. Uh, we also lock the trucks. We allow our customers to put their own locks on it as long as we have at least one key. If we got stopped by DOT, we have to allow them access. Of course. Um, but other than that, we, uh, we can also keep it on the truck overnight, deliver it the following day. Past a uh, week or so, it's been hot. Let's oh, face yeah. it. Yep. And it, it, it's brutal. And I'm sure it takes a toll on a mover. Yes. When you're out there. What are some of the things that customers can do to kind of make your life a little easier one, in the hot and humid days? One, one of our best things that, that um, always happens to us is we're out there and it's hot. Um, you know, drinking out of the hose. Hey, I mean, we've all done it. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. But always, um, you know, everybody packs up everything that they have, which is great. Um, leave a couple of plastic cups, um, something that way we can get colder water right from the faucet. Um, I mean, most refrigerators have either ice maker or, or water uh, right in them. So something to allow us to get something to drink. Um, you know, if you're a customer that that wants the, the best out of their movers, no matter who you use, you know, having some bottled water in the refrigerator, it goes a long way. Um, Again, just even just as simple as a small bottle of water, a 99 cent bottle of water. The guys, um, I know my guys, they, they bring a gallon of water. Most of them bring a gallon of water to work a day. Uh, half of it's frozen and they add more water to it. Uh, but again, on a hot day, 100 degrees, 90 degrees, 
Um, you got to remember that's the outside temperature. In the back of a truck, you're looking at 10 to 15 degrees warmer, if not 20, um, with the sun beating on it all day. So the guys, um, you know, sweat out everything they're bringing in. So any any refreshments, water, Gatorades, it goes a long way. Uh, the guys appreciate it more than they can express, and, and that comes out in their work that they're providing for you. What are some of the things that you would want to look for in a moving company? So it's always tough because I'm in the box. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I've been in it my whole life. The, the things I would look for uh, when talking to any company is making sure they're insured, um, making sure that they have the proper staff. Um, and, and you do that by asking questions. Some of the questions are very hard to ask is, you know, how many guys do you have on staff? Um, people don't ask that question, but that is a question that you should ask because, again, if if they get one of their bigger customers, if they get one of their their money-making customers, so to speak, that calls them on a regular basis, most likely that moving company is going to take them over a single move. Um, so you want to know how many guys they have, how many vehicles they have, what happens if my closing doesn't go through on time. Those are the questions you need to ask to make sure that the company that you're dealing with is flexible and understands that moving is no longer the way it used to be five, six years ago. There's a lot of variables and things change within the hour at some points. Um, so those are two of the biggest questions is how many guys do you have and what happens when and then you bring in your scenario. You had mentioned uh, about insurance as well. Yep. And... Um how vital is it to have a mover who's insured? It is very important to make sure the company you're dealing with has insurance. Um, also in Rhode Island, you need to have a certificate um, to operate in household goods moving, which is all residential. Um, anytime you're doing that, you want to make sure, again, that they, they are licensed as well. Um, if they're not licensed, you really have no recourse of going after them. And if they do not have the proper insurance... Um, you're kind of stuck um, if something gets damaged, if the guys fall and get hurt on your property, if they can come back after you if the company does not have the proper insurance. Uh, with us, you know, we have workman's comp. We cover all of our bases. We have additional insurance. We have a, a full umbrella in policy. So if something happens in the winter and they slip and fall on the stairs coming out, they can't go after the homeowner for not having it prepped. What is a number that they can contact your company, GMAT's Moving and Storage, if somebody out there is needing a mover or knows somebody who needs a mover right. in the very near future? Yes, the best number is the office, which is 401 383 6399. You could ask for me at any point, and they could always forward you over to my cell phone if I'm not in the office, and uh, we can help you every step of the way. Uh, I always say if you get a quote from anybody, we will happily talk to you about it to help educate you in the best way to go about moving forward. Uh, whether you're using us or you're using somebody else, we want to educate and make sure that you are making the proper decisions for your move forward.